hello welcome to today's tutorial um, today we'll look at how to install b4x suit anywhere software has different different products for uh, different operating systems we have the b4a for android b4i for ios b4g for desktop server and raspberry pi arduino for b4r okay but today we'll look at how to install b4a and b4g so to get started you go to the product section and then you select the product you want in this case you want to install b4a first so when you click on it it takes you to a download page now here are the files you need to download the first one is the id which is which you can download from this link so we click on it to download and then the second thing you need is java click here to download the OpenJDK 19 and then the next thing you need is the Android SDK so you download the command line tools over here and then the required resources over here so we are downloading one two three and then the ID making four items from the download link and then when you go down for the purposes of debugging you can download B4A Bridge, which is you can download from the Play Store. Okay, it will enable you to debug or test your application on your live device using a local network. Okay, so you can either you download the B4A Bridge here or you download the APK directly from the website. Okay, so now let's look at how to set up the B4A. So, uh, per the instructions, we have to open B4A after install right we choose tools configure paths and we set the path so it means we have to extract the java to look at the c and then set the path to android to the same okay and uh, it's always advisable that you don't use a path with a longer or space in between a long path or a space uh, a path with a space in between or probably a restricted places like a program files okay so um we have our files downloaded here the resources the command line tools the J jdk then the b4a and it's all also advisable you use 7-zip to extract the resources okay so first things first we'll go to the drive c we want to put all our items here so we create a folder the first one we call it android sdk okay the second one we'll create is java and then the third folder we'll create here we'll call it additional libraries okay so we've created android sdk folder java folder and then additional libraries folder wait so now let's extract the files we've downloaded. I'll install 7-zip to help me extract the files. Then I'll install B4E ID. Uh, I'll not launch it now. Now the resources, I'll extract it. Okay, after extracting the resources, we we'll also extract the command line tools also. Okay, so we've extracted command line tools and then the resources to Android SDK. Okay. The next thing we'll do is the Java. We'll extract the 
Java to the Java folder, the JDK 19. Okay, so our JDK to has finished extracting. So um, we have our resources extracted to the Android SDK. Then we have our Java extracted. Additional libs uh, should come should contain these folders. One is one folder is B for X, which will contain the cross-platform library. So in case you are building projects for Android, iOS. And desktop you can keep the b for x libs uh, libraries here okay you can also have platform spef specific folders like b for a for the b for a specific libraries b for i for b for i specific libraries b for j for b for g specific libraries b for r for before our specific libraries that is if you plan developing for all these platforms but if you don't you can leave the two if you're only developing for android before x and before a and then we can also have a shared folder where you can put classes in it or any other code models you can put them here so this is the structure basic structure for our before x like additional libraries folder and also you can also have a snip snippet folder in any of them which is a new feature which was recently introduced but this is also not really necessary so i just copied the snip snippet folder to all the three platforms that I know I'll be developing for B for A, B for I, B for J. Okay. Now let's open our ID. So the instruction says you go to Tools, Configure Paths. So as you can see now, it's asking us for the path to the Java. You click Browse. You go to Drive C. Uh, Java. JDK 19. Bin. Java okay the Android jar now to browse you go to local drive C Android SDK platforms Android 34 Android dot jar you open additional libraries folder browse drive C additional libraries okay shared models uh, we created a folder inside the additional libraries for shared models you can also add it then hit ok so that is all about installing b4a to create a new project you can just go to new project before x pages you set the path to the project folder so if you know you'll be developing a lot of projects you can also create a folder for your project this can be anywhere B for X projects. So all projects will be kept here. That is optional. So here I will just browse to see B for X projects. Select folder. So if I want to create my first project, which is let's say uh, school app, I'll make sure I click this, which is create new folder, and I say OK. This is my project. If I want to create a new project, I'll go to File, New, before X pages. Let's call this new project Hello World. You click OK. Right now, when we check our project folder, you can see that each project comes with its own folder. Okay, so that's how to create before X, install before A and run or create your first project software you go to product before J remember before A is free before J is free before I is free it's only before I for iOS that is paid app okay so with before J to you download the ID here and then you download the open JDK or the Java which you already have so I think those are the two things you need 
you since you have the Java already only download the B4G ID okay so now that we have the B4G ID we also install okay let's launch it okay so this one too you go to tools then configure paths it's asking for the path to the java so browse drive c um, java jdk19 bin java and then additional libraries browse drive c additional libraries remember before the before xid is intelligent enough to know which folder belongs to b4j and which folder belongs to b4a or b4i and at the same time any libraries here it will know which one belongs which is cross platform the b4x folder so you have to select the main parent which is the additional libraries the self directories the id will automatically pick the libraries necessary for the id to work shared models you can leave it or you can still pick it from the additional libraries and okay so this is also the way to install B4J. So let's run a test project. Uh, browse. You can also set a different project folder for B4J or use the same folder as B4A. So this is B4X project. We can select this. So here we select this folder. So let's create our first test project. Test B4J, right? You click OK. Here it is. If you run this, it's able to give us a message box with "Hello World." Here we go. Our desktop app is running. So click this message runs "Hello World" from B4X, right? So that is the way to also install B4J. As I said, for B4I it's paid software before i is free uh, paid if you check here this is 100 percent free 100 percent free 100 percent free it's only before i that you have to pay for you can go to more information you go to the store here to buy the before i remember before i um you can use hosted builder so you can develop completely 100% iOS apps on Windows computer but you have to do it through hosted builder so you buy your license and then you buy a hosted builder of $26 per year so with the ID running on Windows you can compile your apps through the hosted builder upload it through Windows 100% through Windows without any Mac assistance if you have Mac computer too you can buy the, your license and um, develop on Mac so before I can run on both and um, Windows and Mac okay but if you are Windows user and you don't have Mac you can use the hosted builder option okay so I have my before I set up here which I bought from before I uh, the store so I'll double click as well accept next next we are launching before I because this is a paid software to ask you for a license okay so it's asking for the license file a few moments later so after entering my license it says before I is registered so I can also go to tools configure paths so to do that let's go to our drive C you can keep it here or any other location okay I will choose to do it in additional libraries folder so I'll go to new folder let me call it before I keys okay so you go to tools uh, configure paths so we set the java file path we set the keys folder see additional libraries before i keys 
and then the additional libraries folder okay so now we can create the keys using tools private sign key then mark leave codes country gh password one two three four five six uh, create new so your files are being created for you 